वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो विल सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 3.43 एंड 3.44 सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद 3.43 स्टेटमेंट इज अकोडर एफ यूज टू रिकॉर्ड इन डिजिटल फॉर्म द रोटेशन ऑफ शॉफ्ट ए इज कनेक्टेड टू द शॉफ्ट बाय मींस ऑफ गियर ट्रेन शोन व्हिच कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर गियर्स एंड थ्री सॉलिड स्टील शॉफ्ट ईच ऑफ डायमीटर डी two of the gears have radius r and other two radius n r if the rotation of coder f is prevented determine in term of t l g j and n the angle through which and a rotate so you can see that this diagram this is coder f and there these are three shaft 1 2 3 and these are connected with gear train this gear this gear this gear and this gear the radius of gear e and c is r while radius of gear d and b is n r and there is a torque a a t a is applied at end a so statement is if coder f is uh, const constrained if the rotation is prevented so you have to find the angle of twist at point a so let's start with the solution you can see given data rc is re is equal to r while rb and rd radius of b and d is n r each length is given as small l and each diameter of the shaft is d so we have to find theta a at the free end so let's start with the solution so first step is that you can see the torque at point a is applied is in counter clockwise direction it means that the the gear b will exert force on gear c with a force uh, circumferential force so this circumferential force we know that torque is equal to force into radius clear so force will be equal to torque divided by radius so in gear b it will be equal to tb divided by T A B divided by T A B divided by R B, and this same force is exerted on gear C, which is equal to T C D divided by R C D. So we have T A B, which is equal to T A. We do not have T C D, so T C D will be equal to R C D divided by R B into T A B. you can check r c d is r and r b is n r so you can put the value r c d is r and r b is n multiply by r which is n t a so this is t c d so you can see r r with will cancel each other so t c d will be equal to t a over n so this is torque in gear cd are in shaft cd okay so this is the first one now we will move toward uh, second you can see that uh, uh, this is this torque will be uh, this this torque will be transmitted in this shaft if this is clock counter clockwise so this will be clockwise and again you can see here that this gear the at the point of intersection this gear will apply a force so second we will find this force you know that force is equal to tcd over rd clear is equal to this will also produce the torque in gears e or shaft ef which is equal to tef over re so we have tcd so we will find tef so tef torque in shaft ef will be equal to re divided by rd into tcd so re is given as r re is r over r r and rd is n r and tcd so tef will be equal to this one again rr will cancel and we will get tcd divided by n now tcd is this value so put tcd is equal to ta over n in this equation so when you put it you will get tef will be equal to ta over n square okay now we have tef t 
TE F. So you can find angle of twist in shaft EF. So angle of twist in point in shaft E R point E will be equal to theta EF and that will be equal to TEF into LEF divided by G into J. So TEF is given as TA over N square. So TA over N square LEF is small L G into J. So you will get theta E will be equal to theta E will be equal to TA into L divided by N square G J. So this is the angle of twist in shaft EF. So you can see that this angle of twist will cause it to rotate. So we will convert this angle of twist into linear displacement by using formula S is equal to R theta. Because both these gear will, will mm, twist with the same radian clear. So we will convert this distance. S is equal to by using formula S is equal to R theta. So R E into theta E is equal to R D into theta T. So we will find theta D theta D will be equal to uh, R E over R D into theta E. So R E is given as R E is given as R where R D is N R. R over N R and theta E is T A L over N square G J. So R R will cancel so you will get theta D will be equal to T A into L divided by N cube G J. This is your fourth number. Now you can see that uh, we will find the, we will find the angle of twist in rod CD or shaft CD. So this angle of twist I will write fifth number angle of twist in CD will be equal to TCD into LCD divided by G into J. So TCD is uh, TCD is this one you can see this is TA over N. So T A over N into L G J. This is theta C D. Okay. Angle of twist in shaft C D. Now the total angle of the total uh, displacement in C D will be equal to theta D plus theta C D, which will transform which will cause this gear to move with this theta. This will be theta C. Okay. So what we will do is that theta C will theta C is equal to displacement of gear C or angular displacement is equal to theta D plus theta C D. So you can add them theta D is T into L divided by um, N G j while theta uh, n cube g j while theta c d is t a into l divided by n g j okay so you can get t a into l over g j as common so you will left with 1 over n cube plus 1 over n so this is your 5 fifth number. Now, next you can see that the same displacement uh, this will cause it to angular uh, twist and this when we convert this angle twist into circumferential distance s is equal to r theta. So both the gears will move with the same circumferential distance. So we will write it like uh, S is equal to R theta. So for gear B, C, R, C into theta C is equal to R, B, 
R B into theta B. So we have, we do not have theta B. So theta B is equal to R C over R B into theta C. Okay. R C is equal to R and R B is N R into theta C. And theta C, you can see this is the value of theta C. So you can just put it R R will cancel. So one over N times theta C. So theta C is T A into L divided by G J multiplied by one over N Q plus one over N. And when you multiply it, you will get theta C will be equal to T A into L divided by G J into one over N power four plus one over N square. Now you will find angle of twist this is your six number for seven number you will find angle of twist in shaft a b which is equal to t a b into l a b divided by g j here you will find the angle of twist in shaft a b so you can just put the values over here t a b is given as t a b is available t a b is equal to t a l a b is l divided by g j that is t theta a b now note down uh, okay so this is not theta this is theta b this is theta b okay so note down this theta b and theta a because both you can see here this angular dis, dip, uh, uh, twist theta a will be equal to um, angular twist in shaft a b plus angular twist due to gear b so we will add them so note these two values okay we will move to the next page so now theta a will be equal to theta a b plus theta b so theta a b is uh, t a into l divided by g j plus theta b is given as t into l divided by g j into 1 over n 4 plus 1 over n square so again you can see that uh, we have uh, t a l over g j is common so we will left with 1 plus 1 over n 4 plus 1 over n square so this is the angular rotation of point A in term of T, L, G, J, N, N. And that is the answer of our this first part 3.43. Now you can see that in, in problem 3.44 it is given that for the gear trend described in problem 3.4 determine the angle through which and A rotate when T is 5 pounds length is given diameter is given g is given and n is given so you should note down this value i will write problem problem 3.44 so given data is that uh, t is equal to 5 pounds into inch length is 2.4 inch diameter is 1 over 16 inch and g is given as 11.2 into 10 is to power 6 psi and n is also given as 2 so you have to find the theta a which we have found in our problem 3.43 so put the value theta a will be equal to t a is 5 pounds clear and length is 2.2 divided by g is 11.2 into 10 to the power 6 into j j we will calculate that is pi by 2 c power 4 so from here d c will be equal to d divided by 2 which is equal to 1 over 32 inch so pi by 2 into 1 by 32 power 4 clear into 1 plus 1 over n is 2 so 2 power 4 which is 1 over 4 plus 1 over power 1 over 2 power 2 2 power 4 is 16 okay 
so when you solve this you will get the angle of rotation at point a will be equal to 938.73 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian and if you want to convert it into degrees so 938.73 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 180 divided by pi so it will convert into degrees because 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so 1 radian is equal to 360 divided by 2 pi which is equal to 180 over pi so multiply this will convert so at the end you will get theta a will be equal to 53.8 degree and this is the answer of our problem 3.44 that if the end of this coder is fixed and by using given data theta a will come out to be 53.8 degree and that was all about this problem 3.44 and 3.43 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching